Advanced Fabrication of Micro and Nanostructures is a joint course between four DTU departments. It will teach you to fabricate micro and nanostructures inside the DTU clean room at DTU Nanolab using advanced processing techniques. Here is Professor Rafael Tabariski and student Navan Kabianori to tell you more. With this course, uh, it's called uh, 10855, uh, Advanced Fabrication of Micro and Nanostructures. They get both the theoretical background to uh, understand the most advanced tools we have in the clean room and also get the driver's license to use the clean room and the tools. It is the three course for micro and nano fabrication and DTU. Um, we have done a great effort to make it a good course. So we are 13 teachers involved, including seven DTU professors. So uh, this is uh, kind of uh, what, what the students get is um, top shelf uh, research based teaching. The first part of the course uh, is theoretical. Uh, where you learn about the physics behind the processes. Um, and the second uh, half of the course is, is where you get a challenge, where you have to build a device, and then you sort of, um, sort of use all this knowledge uh, that you have gained uh, from the theoretical part of the course. Understanding how different parameters affect your process gives you, like, um, gives you alternative ways to reach the same result um, and it's not only a great skill to have uh, when doing fabrication but also crucial when doing process optimization. When working in the clean room a lot of things can go wrong uh, so I was surprised that we actually managed to finish two different devices in just six weeks. Uh, this also meant that even students that didn't have any uh, prior clean room uh, experience managed to finish their devices um, and with good results as well. The theory gives sort of the basis to understand your processes uh, and to be able to troubleshoot uh, when doing all these uh, testing during my project, like our project. So in my project we did these uh, pillar structures and the theory we had um, about plasma physics and reactive ion etching uh, sort of helped us to understand why we had uh, why our structures looked the way they did uh, and what we could do to uh, get what we wanted. So the course does have a, a high workload because you get to spend quite a lot of hours in the clean room uh, but in the same way you also gain a, a lot of experience in the field of micro and nanofabrication. For more information, please do not hesitate to contact DTU Nanolab.